First scene, Swerve. Exterior, Valle Colina High School, Scottsdale, Arizona, morning. A flashing digital marquee sign announces, welcome back from spring break, desert tortoises. It's an Instagram-worthy desert morning as the rising sun bathes the mountains in melted sherbet, pink, and orange. Benj, 17, stares dreamily at the sunrise. Stopped in the middle of the crosswalk, he blinks, taking a mental snapshot. Click. The image gels into a surreal pop art anime-inspired vista, all bold colors and exaggerated lines. Suddenly, a very real black BMW SUV roars into the painting, brakes screech, horn blares. A hand yanks Benj backward just in time. The BMW zooms by. The hand belongs to Jaden, 17, irreverent and salty. Jaden yells at passing cars. Dumbass walking! School drop-off is a scene from The Road Warrior. Cars and pedestrians engaged in a battle royale to beat the bell. Jaden pulls Benj along, dodging cars like a human game of Frogger, flipping the bird and cussing at passing cars. We're supposed to use the crosswalk. There's only one rule at school drop-off. You stop, you die. They reach the school, disheveled and sweaty, as Emma, 17, glides out briskly. She's blinged out in school spirit gear from immaculate blowout to pedicure, in school colors. She looks expectantly to a tired freshman who sighs and hoists her onto his shoulders. Emma hangs up a poster that reads, Prom ticks available now! Freshman's face turns beet red as Emma whips out a level from her keychain to make sure it's perfectly shaped straight. Damn, gotta get in shape for my prom posal game. Ah, uh, bigger things to worry about. Bench looks at a mysterious countdown on his phone that reads IRAC 7 colon 39 colon 59. Jaden nods gravely. Vroom! Benj looks up in time to see a tricked-out vintage mint-green Vespa zip into the student parking lot. Um, new guy alert. The new guy, in Doc Martens and a black leather motorcycle jacket, parks and takes off his helmet to reveal a chestnut waterfall of mermaid-worthy hair framing the intelligent eyes of Addie, 17. The new guy is actually the new girl. Earbuds dangle from her ears, blasting Just a Girl by No Doubt over the soundtrack. Addie shrugs off her leather jacket to reveal a psychedelic furs tee and cropped pink cardigan. All eyes are on her, and she knows it. She struts past the gawking Benj, who looks like the human form of the heart eyes emoji. Sweet, sweet love. Jaden moves to follow, but Benj pulls him back. Should crack you like a glow stick. <sighs> I know. I feel like I've seen her somewhere before. As Addie opens the school door as the morning sun halos her, a draft blows her glowing tresses, a living music video, open mouths all around. Satisfied that she's made an entrance, Addie steps through the doors, her hair blowing behind her, until a lock of her hair tangles around the door hinges and she's yanked violently backward. Her earbuds fly, the music stops, all eyes on her. Scissors, please. She holds out her hand to Emma, who is on the freshman's shoulders, frozen in the act of cutting a piece of duct tape. Emma hands Addie the scissors. Clip, clip. Addie slices off a thick chunk of hair. Gasps of amazement and horror from the girls. Addie hands the scissors back, tosses her mangled mane over her shoulders, and sashays away. Whoa, badass. Exhausted, the freshman under Emma collapses, pulling Emma down out of frame. Exterior robotics lab, later. A bell rings. Students stream out of school. Two signs on this door. One reads, Ms. Esposito, Physics. The other reads, Home of the Valle Colina Robotics Team, The Irregulars. A five-foot-tall tortoise walks up on its two hind legs. It's Shelly, the robotics team mascot, a kid in a costume. As she walks through the door, both sides of her huge shell slam into the door jams and bounce her backward. She shakes it off, turns sideways, and slips in. Interior robotics lab, continuous. A large workshop with a classroom in front and a shop in back. Mills, shop tables, and tools are scattered everywhere. Shelly the tortoise pulls her head off her head and a waterfall of cornrows spill out. Shelly is actually crystal. 25 students hang out. Benj straightens up the shop. Every few feet, he tisks and shakes his head over a mess. You okay, Crystal? Crystal smiles, embarrassed. She doesn't say much. She tries to sit, but with the turtle shell, sitting is an issue. She tries a few positions, then she just decides to stand. She points her phone camera at the room. Smile for our page. Everyone turns and smiles perfunctorily and turns right back to the overhead projector. 
On it is a running countdown. Zero, zero, colon, zero, zero, colon, zero, four, colon, five, six, and IRAC Metamorph, the big reveal. Crystal heads back out. The tortoise shell slams into the wall on both sides of the doorway as she tries to get out. Ms. Esposito, 60s, a.k.a. Espo, doesn't look up from her computer as she sits on a mobility scooter behind her desk. Will someone put that child of her misery? Safety team? Benj nods and rushes to help Crystal, but someone else gets there first, from the outside. It's Addie, the new girl. Room for one more? Two dozen faces gawk at her silently. Congrats. You did what no teacher has been able to do. Make them all shut up for half a second. Ollie, 17, an overstressed kid with a mop of impossibly curly hair that looks like he's perpetually being electrocuted, makes a beeline for Addie. As president of the robotics... Jaden rushes past Ollie to Addie. Let the hitting on commence. There's always room for another snack. I'm Jaden, a lead driver and most experienced builder. Smirks all around. Jaden takes Addie's hand, but instead of shaking, he holds tight and leads her around the room. I'd be more than happy to show you around my joystick and instruct you on the proper use of my tools. Addie rolls her eyes so hard she checks out her own backside. Here, sit with me. The International Robotics Alliance competition is about to announce the new game. Jaden, why don't you let her... I'm mansplaining here. It's starting the big reveal. All eyes turn to the screen. A 3D animation comes to life. A rectangular yellow playing field spins through the air until it lands on the ground. A brutal red sun beats down. It's the late 21st century, and climate change has forced temperatures over 120 degrees. Fossil fuels are depleted, and humans' days are numbered. But you could change everything. The kids lean in, excited. Aspo is completely uninterested. On screen, six robot vehicles appear on the field. Some have two wheels, others three or four, some with a pair of arms, others with a single multi-hinged limb. Some have scoops. Some are tall, some squat, some nimble, some monstrous. Your colony has created a new way to convert garbage into usable energy, but you have competition. A countdown of two minutes appears. An enormous machine with six large openings rises from the center of the field. The robots shoot onto the field. They spin around, pick up balls with their arms and scoops, and drop them into slots. Every time 10 balls go in, a cube is ejected. Robots rush over to grab the cubes and carry them to the starting area. A warlike colony neighbors yours, and they need fuel too. Convert more than them, and you win the day. But there's one last complication. The energy cubes are highly unstable. You need to return them to the bay, and then get as far away as possible. The further you are when the clock runs out, the more bonus points you get. The robots dump the cubes and rush away as the timer ends. That's Metamorph, the official game of the 2020 IRAC. Time to shine, engineers. Start building now. The video ends and the kids cheer. Crystal takes pics for their social media pages. Addie winces at the noise. She removes a pair of noise-canceling headphones from her backpack and puts them on. Bench notices this. Something about it is familiar. The kids start throwing ideas around excitedly. How about a double reverse four bar? A swerve drive would be sweet. Camelot is going down. But Benj is still staring at Addie. Benj! Ollie points at the board. Benj picks up a marker and starts drawing ideas. His sketches are stunning, like the mind's eye sketch we saw in the opening when he said click. He creates five columns. Drive team, build team, social media GoFundMe, coder, and captain. Under drive team, he writes Ollie, Jaden, Benj. Under build team, he writes Gemma, Emily, Jake, Cameron. Under social media, he writes Crystal. She gives a thumbs up. Under coder and captain, he writes question mark, question mark, question mark. Benj puts his hand up to quiet the room and turns to Addie. I know we can be kind of intimidating. If you have any ideas, just shout them out. Cool? Benj smiles at Addie, having done his duty to make the new member comfortable. He goes back to drawing. Actually. Everyone, including Benj, turns to her, surprised. I was just thinking that we could mount a limelight camera to run object recognition software. That way the robot can target elements automatically. And of course we need to write a PID controller to set predetermined waypoints for the scoring mechanism. And don't get me started on optical shaft encoders. Open mouths gape. Wide eyes stare. Jaden's steel water bottle hits the floor with a monstrous clang. Shaft encoders. After a beat, Benj turns back to the board. Under coder, he writes, new girl. The rest of the team members nod.